A nationwide manhunt is underway for two men who gunned down Melbourne underworld figure Des Moran. The 60-year-old was shot repeatedly at a busy suburban deli yesterday afternoon. Detectives worked well into the night processing the crime scene, only releasing Des Moran's body more than six hours after he was gunned down. The 60-year-old was ambushed by two hooded men inside the Ascot Vale deli around lunchtime yesterday. They unleashed a volley of bullets into Moran's head and body at point-blank range. Four shots. Uh, in succession with a pause in between the third and the fourth shot. The deli was busy with lunchtime shoppers. I turned around and then I just saw this guy walking out of the, the shop and he just literally dropped to the ground. In March, the 60-year-old survived an amateurish attempt on his life when a single bullet lodged in his steering wheel. No, I'm not scared one bit. Because anyone who did it like that, it's a coward. That bravado probably cost him his life. Moran refused to change his daily routine of visiting the local strip for coffee. I knew it was going to happen. I spoke to someone who was bodyguarding for Tuppence the other week and that, and he was saying that there's a bit of drama going down. Des Moran's nephews Mark and Jason and their father Lewis all died in the gangland war that's claimed at least 28 lives. I think it's all over. That's it, you know, the Morans are done and finished. Except for Judy Moran. Leave me alone. Who's left to bury her brother-in-law.